In this video, we're going to be discussing how to make your 3126 C7 or C9 bulletproof. Hey guys, Josh with the Adept Ape channel here, and today I'm going to be making a video about how to bulletproof your 3126 C7 or C9 engine. And this was actually a video I've been thinking about making for a while, and then I had an email from a listener, Gary, who has a C7, and he was asking me some questions about it, and Cat has some updates for them that if you own a C7 or a 3126 or a C9, you should know about, or if you work on them, you should know about these two updates, so I'm going to be talking about them in this video, okay? And I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's donated in the last week at Adeptape at yahoo.com on PayPal. Thank you. Now, I've got a new warning to warn you about. It's the technician technical talk. This video is going to be pretty technical, but um, I think anyone with some basic mechanic skills should understand what I'm talking about. And what am I going to get into here? So, what do I mean by bulletproofing your engine? Well, on a 3126 or a C7 or a C9, at least all the Huey system ones, which is pretty much all the good ones, they have a Huey system. And what is that? Well, I have many videos talking about what it is, but it's a hydraulic electronic unit injector, which uses high pressure oil to feed the injectors to fire the injectors. And this is really the weak point on these engines, especially the C7s. They, for some reason, seem to fail a lot. Uh, the pump will fail, and it can spend metal into the injectors, which can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. And this can happen sometimes a couple times to one engine. Uh, we used to have a lot of school buses here that we used to work on that were getting Huey pumps all the time, and injectors all the time. And CAT has a couple things to check for, and not too many people know about them. And the first one I'm going to talk about is a CAT special instruction media letter that came out. And I'm going to give you the media letter number. If you have don't have sys access, it doesn't really matter. But if you have a mechanic you're working with that does, you can give him this number. He can look it up and see what you're talking about. And that number is M as in Mike, 00681178. And what this is talking about is contaminated oil can enter your oil system on the filtered side, which should be clean oil, and can get fed to the Huey pump. Now, this unfiltered oil can, of course, damage the Huey pump, and that damaged Huey pump can then damage your injectors. But the Huey pump itself is very expensive, obviously, so we want to protect that as much as possible. So... I got a couple pictures from the cat media letter I'll be talking about and explaining. And the main problem that cat engineers have found is that the gasket between your oil cooler and your oil filter housing, which bolt together, can blow out or a leak can develop between them, and it would be internal to the engine. You wouldn't see it. But what can happen is the, if the gasket blows out, you'll get oil passing through from the unfiltered side, bypassing your oil filter, and then going to the filtered side. Which, if you have somewhat dirty oil or some small amount of metal, will immediately pass into the engine and can damage your Huey pump. So what's the fix for this? Well, you're supposed to remove your oil cooler. And where is this? I'll show you the picture here. And when you remove the oil cooler, you're going to check it for flatness. And what does that mean? Well, you need a straight edge or something really flat. And what you're going to do is lay it across the oil cooler and look for high and low spots. Now, I was working on a 3126 today, and I got a Reman oil uh, cooler. And I put a straight edge on it, and it was not flat. In fact, it you could rock your, your uh, straight edge back and forth on it. So it was obviously not flat, but it should be flat. And I ordered another one, and it came in, and it was pretty flat, but it was not flat, like you would see on a cylinder deck after you move the head. It should be flat. You shouldn't be able to get, like, a 2000s feeler gauge under that straight edge, okay? Now, depending on how bad 
the oil cooler is distorted or possibly the oil filter housing is distorted or broken or cracked, this could cause that issue we talked about where oil is getting from the unfiltered side to the filtered side. There's also your bypass valve for the oil filter. If that is damaged or there's a large nick or a piece missing, that would allow unfiltered oil as well to bypass, which would cause this problem, which can cause, as the CAT engineers have determined, Huey pump issues. And that is the main problem with your Huey system. On these engines, 3126s, C7, C9s. Outside of those, they don't have too many issues, these engines. Um, they're fairly bulletproof, so you can take care of your Huey system. You can take care of the rest of the engine. Now, I said there were two things. The other one is a really new update. In fact, it just came out in July, and I've only seen one of these kits installed. Now, this is for C7 specifically. Um, it is possible that an update will come out for the 3126 and the C9. But what is this update? Well, what this update is, is it's a truck engine news, which has a media letter. And that number is an Amazon Mike 0081390. Now, why do you need to know that? Because if you go to a mechanic, even some cat dealers, and ask them about this, they might have never heard of it before. So you, if you give them that media number, they can bring it up in SIS, and then they'll have all the parts and everything. Now, what is this update? Well, what it is, it is a inline secondary oil filter. So where your Huey pump gets its oil from on the side of the block, on the intake side of the block, there's a hose that comes out behind the air compressor if you have one. And when this hose is pushing the oil into the Huey pump, if it's got debris in it, or if the engine has debris in it, it can send it into the Huey pump. So what is this filter? It's actually a screw-on inline filter that will go in place of your normal Huey oil supply hose. So in order to install it, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You have to, if it has an air compressor, which most diesel engines do, you have to remove the air compressor and the power steering pump to get to the Huey oil supply line. You will then remove the Huey oil supply line. And if, you're, if your engine has the original Huey oil supply line, it might not be a bad idea to change it anyway. So now would be a good time to do that. You will then put on the new Huey oil supply line with the inline filter, which is changeable. And what this will do, it'll keep any debris that for whatever reason is in the engine from getting to that Huey pump. So if you can keep any debris from out of that Huey pump, according to the CAT engineers, you will significantly increase the life of that Huey pump and your injectors. Now, Huey pumps also do fail for the solenoid going out. Of course, they can also internally fail, which this would not prevent that, but it would keep the oil extra clean going to the Huey pump. Now, the Huey pump can be ordered as a kit with this updated line and the updated filter, and that kit part number is a 20R, as in Robert, 6642. And that will take place of the normal 10R8899C7 Huey pump, which that pump is still used, but that part number I gave you, the 20R number, is that pump with the updated line kit. And that are the two ways CAT has come out with to bulletproof your engines on all of the CAT smaller truck engines. All right, thank you for watching.